Hey boys and girls, so you are going to be planning your digital breakout and I thought what a better way than to see one that's already been planned. So here is my anti-smoking breakout. So if you haven't played this game, here are all my secrets. Um, the theme is anti-smoking breakout, so I'm going to write there. That's what you picked in your draft that we did this morning. Then the background or story problem, this is the prompt you're going to give and everybody will have one of these at the top of their digital breakout. It's the problem somebody's solving, the thing that they're locating, the person they're locating, the thing they're stopping from happening. Um, that is about their breakout, about their theme. So if you notice in this one, everything is about harmful effects of smoking and stopping that. Then listed below, you're going to have the types of locks that you're going to have. So I had a seven-digit lock, a seven-letter word lock, a four-digit lock, a date lock, a directional lock the actual combinations I wanted my answer key to have, and then how the people would get this. Now, this part right here might not come together right away because this planning your digital breakout is actually the hardest step. Okay? Um, the next thing that we want to also plan for is things to throw your player off. And in my anti-smoking one, I had one fake thing, and that was a video that was about cats and how... If we don't get rid of smoking, then we have no more cat videos. And so I had that as a red herring because possibly, like, the word smoking was also a seven-letter word that they could get from that. But that was my only red herring. The more red herrings you add, the harder your breakout is, just an FYI. Now, once again, your types of locks, lock combinations, where you get this, this part can be a little tricky. So you might want to think about skipping that part and coming down to the bottom part first and saying, okay, I'm going to find an image or make a drawing or find a link, a link or a fake text or something like that and then make it into the lock. So, for example, I found this image of these cigarettes with the words on it and I used that to then make the seven-digit lock. So I said to myself, oh, okay, it has I and then want, want, two, two, so, oh, one, two, two, three, 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 four, five. And that's how I created my seven digit lock. So then I came back up here and did seven digit lock, one, two, three, 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 four, five, and from a picture. So, once again, sometimes you have to find what you're going to do first or create it and then identify what it's for. Um, same thing with the Jigsaw Planet. What I did for this one was I actually found the picture, made the picture, and then uploaded it into Jigsaw Planet to use. Um, same thing with this fake text. I made this up so that we could um, use it for a directional lock. So sometimes you're going to make some things up, but you guys can easily do that and um, use it to make your lock, make your locks anything you want it to be, and then come up here and fill this out last. So it can be done in either way. Good luck.